Yes, sir. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's popping, man? I wanted to come outside, too. I wanted to come outside and get y'all some sunlight. But you know that grind ain't stopping. Shout out to my notification gang. Don't forget to get that bell ring, man. And hey, don't forget to like that video. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I wanted to tell y'all every single upgrade that I did to the Fox so far. I really haven't did a whole bunch, but I feel like all of these upgrades that I made, they uh, make a big difference. So, so far, what I've done, it's not really an upgrade, but it's pretty much uh, what I had to do. I got 275s on the back, 255s in the front, and then I did, I had to remove the quad shock on this one. So the quad shock is no longer in there. I did replace the shocks, the rear shocks, to the drag type uh, shocks. So it's a lot stiffer and stuff like that. I'll try to see if I can get you some bounce action. So it's pretty stiff. It's, it's, it holds up uh, real nice. Next thing, I can never get under this car. Magnaflow mufflers. It's kind of sideways. Sorry, guys. I got some Magnaflow mufflers. The actual mufflers, not the not the uh, glass pack type ones. So I did that. Next thing, it's a short throw shifter. Got a little new shift knob on it. That's my new pillar that I got. I got a little gauge by it. It fell off because I still need to screw it in. I just made a video showing that. I'm gonna screw that in. Next thing. What I need to do, I need to upgrade these brakes, man. I got these factory brakes. It be shaking every time I uh, stop. So I'm gonna get some drilled and slotted rotors. I'm still gonna keep the four lugs for now because I just got these tires and I just spent money on them. So I'm gonna wait until they actually go bad and then I'll go five lugs swap. Unless somebody else wants these four lugs and then I can go five lugs. Let me know. Next thing I did, I, tell, I do this on every video. The uh, throttle body, new 70 millimeter throttle body, 70 millimeter EGR spacer, cold air intake. I did do some underdrive pulleys. You can see it down there. Can you see it? Can you see it? That one. The crankshaft. I did, it has a new one for the alternator. And I think it had one more down there. The one that's on the actual like fan, the one that rotates the fan and everything. I replaced that one. So it's a smaller one. So. When you step on it, it, it uh, opens up some horses and stuff like that. I did do, I also did a little maintenance upgrade. I did a new coil pack. I got all new plugs and wires. I replaced all of those myself and everything. So the new distributor cap and everything. I replaced all the AC lines and everything like that and a new compressor, brand new alternator. These are not really upgrades. These are mostly like maintenance, but some did not need to get replaced, but I went ahead and made it new because I want to I want a good running car. Did the uh, brand new battery. I did do some electronic upgrades too. And the, when I bought the car, it came with some Sony speakers. So I just kept the Sony speakers in there. And I got me a Sony um, little Bluetooth radio here. That thing sound pretty good. It's actually, some of them come 50 by four. This one come 52 by four. So it's a little bit, got a little more watts than uh, the regular one. I got some Pioneer speakers inside of here. Some Pioneer little three, little three inch speakers. And then in the trunk, let me go grab the keys and I'll start the video. All right, we back. Hey, y'all check this out. I got me a little Viper alarm on it. So I got the little, little lock, unlock. Also got the little electronic trunk. I mean, it ain't focusing. Push the little aux button here. Put me in the game, yes sir. So, it's not the prettiest, but it sounds really good. I do need to get a different box. This box has to be facing up because, you know, it's a convertible. The, the trunk is small as hell. So I do got two tins, two kicker tins. These like the shallow mount, shallow mount type. So I can get either a smaller box or I can keep a box this size, but it just needs to be smaller in the back. So that way it can fit in there or no, it needs to be shorter this way. Like this way needs to be shorter up and down. So that way it can sit right in there and face the back or I might face it towards the, uh, face it towards me so I can hear it better. But it sounds really good like this. I know some people say don't uh, face your speakers up upwards cause it'll uh, like they'll go bad faster or something like that, but I haven't had any issues. Got a kicker amp to go along with it. Hey, don't sleep on the thrift store. I got that thing from the thrift store for like $5 and that thing hit, it hit good. So watch out for them local deals and stuff like that. The local deals and like your, um, or some things called flea markets and stuff like that. They be having that type of stuff. So yeah, watch out for that. Trying to act 
getting up. All right, don't worry about that. I'm gonna have to cut that out. Cut, cut. But yeah, so far that's all I've really done. Let me know what I can do to make it uh, better. I don't really plan on doing too much more to it other than supercharged turbocharge, like I said, because it runs good, at, like the AC work and everything. So I really don't have to worry about no um, issues. One thing I do need to do that's not maintenance and it's not really like, it's not an upgrade or nothing, but I need to get these rear windows fixed. These rear windows suck. And the front windows, the power on them, like it'll go up, but it, it don't go all the way inside. Whoever had this car before me, they put, um, focus, focus. They put some new like gaskets in there and they kind of too thick. So I'm gonna have to cut those gaskets down so the windows can go all the way up. But that's really the only thing. Cause the interior is in good condition. So I don't have to really mess with anything on that. And I do plan on getting a new convertible top. I'm gonna get that uh that cloth type top, like the black, dark, dark black one. It's like 1300 bucks. But I know the guy that work on cars, he gonna let me come over and I can uh actually work on it myself and that'd be some good footage for you guys. So stick around for that. My guy Eddie, he uh he's in the Navy with me as well. He's a master chief. So he he gonna help me out. I did a, uh we replaced the convertible on the Camaro with him on like a 68 Camaro. It, it came out real nice. So that's how I already know he can, he'd do a good job on it. And he gonna save me some money, even though it's already expensive. So it is what it is. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think. Got the new steering wheel. Oh, that's another upgrade I made. The steering wheel and then the pillar or whatever that I told y'all earlier. Yeah, let me know what y'all think, what I can add. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it'll be plenty of more videos to come. And we out of here. My wife just pulled up. I don't like her to hear me talking. We out.